Hello there. I'm Howard Martin. I'm the uh, executive vice president at HeartMath here in Northern California, um, author of some books, a producer of a movie, things like that. But more importantly, I'm a citizen of planet Earth, just like you, uh, doing the very best I can to make meaning out of life and to make a contribution to the betterment of others and to the world itself. More importantly, I guess, is that today I have the opportunity to be a, a part of the Upship Festival, Urban Lanslow's Upship Festival, and I really appreciate this opportunity to have a, a few minutes to share with you. It's obvious that the world is going through a tremendous amount of change right now, and the chaos and confusion that we see is often the picture of reality that many people adopt. For me, however, I see a little different picture. I have compassion and understanding about all the challenges that people are going through, but I see so many new and exciting, hopeful possibilities of a new world emerging right in the midst of this old one. Hundreds of millions of people have changed their lives, changed the way they think, changed the way they feel, changed what they want in life, and they're doing everything they can to usher in this new world with more ease and more poise and more grace. And I think that's a wonderful thing. So in the midst of all the, the challenges, I see great opportunity. We are going through literally a dimensional shift in consciousness right now. Uh, we're shifting from a, a baseline of third dimensional consciousness to one in the higher fourth dimension. It's taking hundreds of years, uh, but it's happening very, very quickly. And we're at a time period right now where the accelerated change is dynamic and real. The question becomes, what do we do with that? How do we manifest this opportunity and turn it into something that's tangible and real for ourselves? And then to take that reality and make it real for everyone else as best we can. That is the big question. To do that, to me, requires something that we all have inside, that we've always had inside, that just needs a little dusting off and brought to the forefront. And that is heart. The qualities of the heart, love, care, kindness, compassion, appreciation, patience, tolerance, non-judgment, the intuitive qualities of the heart that access this larger field of information that gives us insights into what we need to do, the next steps we need to take to help us make decisions big and small as we go through the game of life. Part of the changes that I see right now is that heart is re-emerging. It's evolving. It's coming into a newness, unlike anything we've seen in, uh, in historical times. The emergence of heart intelligence is really part of the evolutionary imperative that we're experiencing right now during this era of high speed change. So as we learn to trust and listen to and access more of this innate, magnificent intelligence that we have called heart, we end up finding solutions to challenges that sometimes appear to have no solutions. We find the resilience that we need to move forward in life. We find the deep understanding that we need of ourselves, of others, and of the changes in the world. And those are just a few of the many, many benefits that each and every one of us can experience as we manifest more of the qualities of heart in our life and bring about the heart intelligence and bring it to the forefront uh, in everything that we do and learn how to live truly a more heart-directed life. The fulfillment's there when we do it. Yeah, I certainly have experienced that in my life, and then my life's work really is about helping other people find their fulfillment through accessing the intelligence of the heart. What I want us to do now is experience a little of that, and to do that, we'll do a very short little heart-focused practice together. The first step in this practice is I'd like you right now, if you can, to close your eyes and then focus your attention here in the area right in the center of your chest, the area of your heart. If you want to, you can put your hand there if it brings your attention to that place. With your attention there, now what I'd like you to do is breathe naturally and normally, but a little deeper than you normally would, but in a rhythm that's comfortable for you. And as you're breathing in this comfortable, deeper rhythm, I'd like you to imagine as if your breath is flowing in and out through the area of the heart. And we're gonna do that now for a few breaths together. Next, I'd like you to continue to breathe this way, and I want you to activate a regenerative, uplifting 
feeling, a heart-related feeling. Maybe it's appreciation, appreciation for what you have in your life or the love or the care you have for someone in your life. Or maybe the compassion that you have for others and for the world. And as best you can without forcing it, just try to feel a regenerative, uplifting feeling. And I'd like you to gently radiate that feeling, whatever it is you're feeling, radiate it outward from your heart, send it out from your heart. And here's what I suggest for just a minute or so, let's send that feeling to Irvin Laszlo in honor of him and all that he's done and the magnificent man and human being that he is and for his contributions to this world. I know he wouldn't ask for it. <laughs> I know he wouldn't necessarily uh, want it, but let's give it to him anyway. Let's send our heart-related, heart-directed feeling to Irvin Laszlo. Now, as I believe he would want us to do, let's expand that feeling now. Send it to humanity. Send it to all of our brothers and sisters on this planet, all going through the same shared experience, all facing their own challenges and the collective challenges of society. Let's send it especially to those that are experiencing hardship, those that are faced with extraordinary challenges. Add in the heart quality of compassion to this radiation and send that compassion out to the world and out to humanity itself. Let's close with a heartfelt desire for the world to have more harmony and more peace, more cooperation, less judgment, less separation, less identity with biases. See a more heart-directed, heart-related, heart-connected world emerging. Okay, thank you all very much. Just recognize that you're not alone, that we're all in this together. We're all connected energetically and all living systems on this planet and beyond are connected. So we're all in this magnificent adventure and game uh, called life. And that a person like you who's taking your time to watch this video, I'm certain is a person who's done wonderful things in the world for others. You're a good person and you're doing the very best you can uh, in a challenging situation at times. So honor yourself for that. And certainly make sure you give yourself some compassion from time to time. You know, offer yourself the gift of that self-compassion because you're doing the best you can. And, and so I want to honor you for what you've done, what you're doing. And I'll get into it for a second and, and, and honor you for what you're going to do in the world as we go through these times together. I've appreciated the opportunity to be with you, to be a part of this, of this festival, and I wish you all the very best, and please take care.